W50 is a supernova remnant as observed by radio astronomers in the Milky Way galaxy. Consisting of debris from the explosion some thousands of tens of thousands of years ago as it interacts with the gaseous content of the, uh, of the galaxy, the Milky Way. It has this unique elongated shape. Typically the, the axes are almost three to one or four to one and it's due to the likely probable association with the remarkable uh, galactic uh, mini quasar that's at the center called uh, SS-433. SS-433 is a X-ray binary, which is a compact object, which is a black hole or a neutron star in a very close binary system with a normal star. And the normal star is losing matter onto the um, X-ray binary in an accretion disk and it creates X-rays, which is this is how they were discovered originally. And the jets in SS-433 must have turned on almost immediately because the, the supernova remnant is, you see the spiral structure in the supernova remnant. To our surprise, we saw a, a large collection of striations, filamentary structure in the new image that were, had not been observed in the earlier observations with the old VLA. And we now appreciate that these striations have a particular pattern and they probably are related directly to the interactions that were left over from the, uh, from the jet emission from the SS-433 central object. I've also made a movie of SS-433 with the VLBA, so you can see it on milliarc second scales. You can see the jet blobs moving out and spiraling um, on very small scales. You all can also observe SS-433 in the X-ray, so there are lovely Chandra images which sort of show sort of um, ears out near where SS-433 may be hitting W-50. It's like a drill, a mining drill, working on its way through a surface and it leaves a, a permanent record as it's, uh, as it's uh, oscillating in the helical fashion. <laughs>